Hi everyone, I'm Nipakshi Kocher and you're watching me on my YouTube channel. I create content on beauty, fashion and lifestyle. Take a moment and subscribe to my channel below and also click on the bell icon. In today's video, we'll be creating a classic smoky eye look which I've just done and also in just three steps. Continue watching. So in this video, we are creating a smoky eye look. Uh, we'll be going for a classic black and brown smoky eye look. So it's very simple. In between, I will also be telling you few things to be kept in mind to make sure that your smoky eye looks flawless irrespective of what is your eye shape. If you are a hooded eyes, even if you have big eyes, small eyes, you can do smoky eyes. So let's just quickly begin with it. Now first thing first, you need a kajal which is not smudge proof. Yes, you heard it right. You need a kajal which is not smudge proof. So I'm using the one from Sugar Cosmetics. So all you need to do is first thing, which you should not do is that you don't apply your product all over the crease at once. You need to gradually take it upward so that you have control over the paste. So for the black shade we're using a kajal, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just take my kajal, stretch my eye like this and I'm going to make a very rough liner. It should not be precise, it's completely fine. So I'm going to just stretch my eyes, make a very very rough line like this. That's about it. You can always go and take more product but it's very difficult to minus the product. Right? So now next thing is you need a smudging brush or a pencil brush which looks like this. Something like this. So once this is done, all you need to do is just stretch this part and on that part just start to smudge it out. Very very lightly. Now if you have small eyes, I mean hooded eyes or small eyes, you need not go too much up. If you have normal eye shape like me or bigger, go till your crease. So very lightly, I'm just smudging this part up. So see, can you see the color is going up? So I'm just blending it out till my crease. Can you see it's on till my crease? So once you have achieved something like this, I'm just blending it out till my crease. Can you see it's still my crease? So I'm gonna quickly do the same thing on the other side and get back to you guys. Once you have achieved something like this, which is the base for the smoky eye, we will move on to giving some colors, browns and gradation to this look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to my palette which have more brown colors. You can also go with pinks. It's up to your choice. So I'm picking up the darker brown color in my palette which is this one. And I'm picking up a fluffy brush like this. And just where this black color is ending, right? Can you see just where this is ending? I'm going to stretch up and place my color like this over there. Do not worry about blending at this moment. Just work on placing the product right now. So once I've placed on this eye, I will quickly do the same thing on the other eye and get back to you. And don't worry, we are not blending right now, we're just placing the darker brown. Once you have achieved something like this, which looks a little messy, but don't worry. Smoky eye is all about looking messy and flawless at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a lighter color. You can either go in the pink family or brown. So I'm going for the pink one. Can you see this pink matte pink color? I'm just picking up this color on this brush. This is a flat blending brush. I'm picking up and I'm placing it now on just on the brown color so that the harshness of the brown goes away. So I'm just placing it over there and I'm gonna blend the brown with this pink. Look up and start to blend it out. Now I can give you one of my trick which I do very often and works great for me. That I take a clean fluffy brush just with koi product nahi hai, and I run it over the steps. This will diffuse the harshness and give you a very flawless finish. Can you see the difference on both the sides? Now let me just quickly do this side also and get back to you guys. So once you have done something like this, can you see how blended it looks? We can move on to the next part. Now right now I've used a kajal. So this makeup can smudge, it's not matte. So what we will do and also to increase the pigmentation of black, what I will do is that I will take a black eyeshadow. Can you see this black eyeshadow? I'm going to pick up this black eyeshadow on a flat brush. This is what a flat brush looks like. And I'm going to pick the black eyeshadow and just place it where the black color is, like this. You can also make sure all the gaps are filled with this part and your makeup will be matte. Can you see how the intensity is increasing? Likewise on this side, just placing the color and then just blending everything. 
So this is what it looks like once you have blended it beautifully into your eyes. Now we will do some curling lashes and mascara. I'm not going to do lower lash line because I like it neater on just upside to give that pop. If you do, if you really like that dramatic look, you can go ahead and do the same process on the lower lash line as well. Now I'll take my eyelash color, go close to my eyelash, make sure I haven't grabbed my skin and just wait for a few seconds to give it a very nice curl. Look at that. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Go very close to your lashes, make sure you haven't grabbed your skin and press it. You can also wait for a few seconds to give it a better curl. Then just take any of your favorite mascara. I'm using the Zoom mascara from Kalaba. I love the wand wait let me just show it to you it's a very nice wand it's a very nice wand it separates your lash very well so now what i'm going to do is firstly make sure you remove all the excess product from the tip so that you don't have mistakes so i'm going to pull everything down first to make sure that everything is coated on the upper part also and then just very lightly push it up do you see a difference so just take your time with this Very lightly, just keep pushing it up. See, so let me just do the other side and get back to you. This is what the final look looks like. Super simple and super easy. We did this Nokia in just three steps. What do you think about it? I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was helpful, again I'm repeating, click on the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram, the link will be in the chat box.